Hello you guys, it's Hannah G and guess what I'm doing today? As you know, it's quarantine, so everybody's bored and doesn't really have anything to do, so I'm taking a photography course. I'm literally so excited. I can't wait to take photos and just like post them everywhere. I'm literally so excited. Schultz Photo School is putting on an online photography course this week and I'm going to be taking it and I'm so excited. But first, I am going to show y'all my photography skills, if they can even be called that, so far. So watch this. day one of the photography course and I'm about to go take it so I will show y'all my photography skills after day one. I just finished day one of the course and it is so cool. It was literally probably 10 minutes of just like information about stuff and I have a few notes here that I took so I'm gonna tell y'all what I learned. So the first thing I learned is about perspective. So basically when you are taking a photo you want to change your perspective. So I kind of actually like tried taking a picture of my sister sitting on the couch like upside down so like her face was turned a little bit so that um, it just like adds more dimension to your photo and makes it not as boring. So that was the first thing that we learned. And the second thing was filling the frame. So you want to fill your camera frame. You don't want to have like a person and then like the background. You want the person to be the main focus of the photo. So that's, that was the second thing that we learned. And the third thing was the rule of thirds, which is basically where you have a grid, a three by three grid, like you're gonna play tic-tac-toe. You want the person's eyes to be on an intersection on that grid or along one of the lines of that grid. And it just makes it where the person is the focus of the photo. So basically what we focused on was knowing your subject and making your subject the main part of the photo. So I'm going to show you all a few of my favorites of what I took after I did day one of this course. It is day two you guys! Today we talked about the different kinds of light and how to use them in your photography. So we talked about hard light, soft light, which I use a lot more because it looks a lot better to me. And we talked about how light is directional. And so we talked about front light and back light and side light. And so my favorite when I was practicing was actually side light to use on my sister. I really enjoyed using that. And we talked about like what to do if you have shadows, like what kind of light to use if you have shadows or if you, you have too many highlights and how to like fix your photo and we talked about reflecting and so in most of these pictures of Penny I used side light and so I had the actual natural light on one side and I used my white jacket on the other to light up this side of her face. I don't know if that's like how it is in the actual photo but you can probably tell that was what we learned about light. I will show y'all a few of the photos that I took that I enjoyed and that I used light to make better. Hello guys! So, it's been a while since I caught y'all up on my photography course that I'm taking. And yeah, it's been like a week, I'm sorry about that. I've been doing a lot. Well, not really a lot because, you know, we can't go outside. But I'm doing a little bit more than usual with like online classes and everything. I decided to go more into depth with the photography course and took like one that has a bunch of different modules and like videos and like all this text about it. And it's like so cool because I'm learning how to do photography, something that will maybe help me in life, I don't really know, I guess it will. Learning something that will help me in life online? Like, since when were you able to do that? 
I guess I've kind of been living in a hole for the past 14 years. I'm 14 years old. It's fine. So I'm taking this class and it is helping me so much. So we've been learning about basically the same things that I talked about in the days before this that I filmed, but we're just like going into more depth and talking about it specifically to your camera. I actually like take photos of the camera that I'm using right now. And you may have noticed that this is a little bit like zoomed out. It's because I'm using a different lens than I usually do. Because my mom gave me a lens to try and I liked it and I was like, hey, I'm gonna try to film with this. And so now I'm filming with it. Sorry, that's off topic. So I'm learning all this stuff and it's so cool. And then I'm like, wait, I'm shooting in auto. I should shoot in manual and so my mom taught me how to shoot in manual and she taught me how to use all these things like ISO and like I don't really know what they're called but I know how to use them and they make my pictures look so much better and so I will show you all how these look and I guess I could go from like auto to manual for some of these pictures I guess we'll see see you tomorrow I guess if I remember to film um, yeah, so it's been a while, like maybe a month since I filmed for this video, but let's just say that I've gotten a lot better at photography in that time. It's literally making me so happy to do photography. I love taking pictures of everything. I brought my camera literally everywhere. I'm, I brought my camera to the beach, so I will show you all some of those photos. Cue beach photo montage. <laughs> at the beach. I've been taking pictures of basically everything. Literally everything. We're on module four of the photography course which is like a lot because it's like eight modules so I guess we're halfway through but it's been like two months since I started and I have gotten a lot better I feel like. I'm still not where my mother is. She's been doing it for four years. And she's very 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 good. Like really good. <laughs> I'm not even close to where she is. I feel like the composition of my photos has gotten a lot better, like how I put everything on the photo, and I've learned how to use my lenses, I've learned how to use all the different modes, I've learned how to use the exposure trinity. <laughs> oh. Which is ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. And I've learned how to use all those and how to like change them. But yeah, it's been a while since I filmed this video. I've had a lot of changes in that time. I mean, I've gotten glasses, I've gotten a lot better at photography and actually like filming, learning how to use my camera and my lens. I hope that this isn't going in and out of focus like the other videos were. Let's hope it's not. I'm about to show y'all my progress and then I'm going to show y'all how I've been editing a little bit. So thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy this montage for a second. actually through photography and like that it's actually a talent and I could maybe do something with my life with it. I don't know, maybe. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe would make my day. Turn on post notifications so you can be notified every single time I post. I love you guys so much. This is Hannah Grace leading the chat.